What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. My name is Mike and I love me. Get your smokers fired up because today we're throwing in some feel asobuco. Let's do it. All right, so we got some veal asso buco. If you're looking for a delicious, traditional, Italian veal asso buco, Nani and Papa are coming from Italy, you want a good, traditional recipe, you're in the wrong place. But if you're just getting bored of pork butts and briskets and everything else, you just wanna try something different, you're in the right place. So, veal asso buco, the shank of a calf. We got some stuff already cut up here, we can dive right in, I'm just gonna put a little bit, a little drizzle of olive oil on each of these shanks, each of these cuts. So for seasoning, I got some Everglades all-purpose seasoning. I'm going very, very light on this. I'm just getting a light coat. There's some good salt and some good flavor in here. Use any barbecue rub you want if you want to go that route. So that's it. These shanks are ready. Now to my right, I got about a stick and a half of butter, throw right in a foil pan, one chopped onion, celery, and one whole carrot. Also chopped. Guess I could have just dumped this all in there, but who am I? All right, so that's it. We're gonna pop both of these in the smoker at the same time. There's a couple more steps involved, but for now, we can go pop these on the smoker. So we're out here at the smoker. We got her going at 225. I want these veal shanks to have a bull kick to them, so I'm throwing on some mesquite wood for this smoke. We have the tray of veggies right underneath those shanks. We're gonna do this smoke for about an hour and a half or two hours, then we'll come out for step two, we'll add some more ingredients. All right, so it's been about an hour and 45 minutes. We took our veggies out. We're gonna get our veal shanks here. They look great. We're plopping them right in this tray. Now you're gonna get yourself some minced garlic, a little bit of sage, half a cup of au jus, a glass of white wine, and I got about two cups of rabbit broth, homemade, but you can use beef broth or chicken broth. Fill up the tray. Mix it on up, get the veggies on there. Now get yourself some foil and wrap it tight. So we got our veal back in the smoker. I cranked it up to 275. You don't need your wood rolling from now on because the tin foil is airtight. It's gonna get our veal nice and tender. We're gonna sit it in here for about three or four more hours, then we'll pull it out and eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. We just pulled this out right at the three hour mark after wrapping this pan and putting it back in the smoker. I already plated some of this, but man, this asabuca, I mean, it all fell right off the bone. I'm gonna put some more of this delicious, awesome white wine sauce back on there. And we're gonna get a nice bite of some of this asabuca. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, earlier, I said if you wanted a traditional Italian asabuco, this wasn't the right place. It still isn't, but it is still really delicious. You know, a good smoky flavor, those vegetables are a perfect texture. The rabbit broth is really good. I know not a lot of people have rabbit broth hanging around at home, but again, beef or chicken broth, they'll do the trick. And it's just different. Again, it, it, veal asabuco, you look at this, you wouldn't think smoker but i'm telling you you put the veal shanks on there and smoke them for a couple hours with the veggies then you wrap it with all this goodness this tray of goodness right here i mean this you can just eat this like this i will i don't give a gosh darn now the prize of veal asabuco is the bone in the middle with that marrow that's the delicacy right there and again this is just falling right out Ugh. that oh come back little buddy Mm. Oh my god. I'll suck that bone dry any day. Oh, come on. Mm. It's so delicate and it has that smoky flavor with it. So go put some Vialas Buco calf shanks on your smoker. Give it a try. Let me know how it is. Stay tuned for the next video.